Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is DevOps Pro Junction Pro YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to create a pod and expose via the node port. So in my previous video, I already showed you how to create the cluster in the console and uh, how to create the node group as well. If you did not watch my previous video, you can go and check the video. So this is the continuation of that video. It will be uh, get more understanding if you follow the first video. So in this video, we are going to see, uh, let's uh, connect first of all the cluster, then uh, we will create a pod and expose it. Let's dive into the video. For that, uh, you have to connect your cluster. You can go to your uh, command line mode editor, anything you can use. Uh, I hope this is uh, more clear uh, in this video. Um, so go to your editor and uh, here you can uh, use the comment AWS EKS. Using this comment, uh, you can able to connect your cluster. So you can use before that you have to do configure your credentials with this account if you don't know how to do that you can check my in my playlist how to uh, uh, configure the aws uh, credentials with using access key and secret key here i already configured with my account so this is my access key and secret key and uh, here is the region i'm using and uh, you have to use json format so once you have connected, you can use AWS S3 LS comment. You can check whether you can able to access your S3 buckets or not. Here I can able to access. To connect your cluster, you have to use AWS EKS hyphen hyphen region and your um, region name. I'm using Mumbai and uh, this is my region name if you don't know the region name you can also go and check here uh, this is the region which i am using so you can use whatever uh, region uh, same as the code you can use here and then uh, update iphone q config and then name here you have to specify name of your cluster in my case, a demo cluster one, this is the name of the cluster, demo underscore cluster one, and uh, you can give enter. So once you entered, you can see that this is added and you can, you should install uh, in your system kubectl, then only you can able to access. If you did not install, you can install kubectl and uh, kubectl get nodes we have already created two nodes so these are the nodes and uh, here is the namespace kubectl get namespace here and these four namespaces which is which all default namespace here and uh, we can check whether any pods running or not we don't have any pods under default namespace and also uh, check the services. We don't have uh, any uh, new services. This is the default service, which is already running here. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a namespace called dev, create namespace. You can use ns to create the namespace called dev. So kubectl. So by mistake, kubectl. So here I created the namespace called dev. You can see here I have created the namespace. So here I'm going to create a pod with the label so that i can able to expose the pod normally uh, to create a pod you can use kubectl run command and then followed by you can give uh, any name i'm giving 
name of nginx pod and then image name which is going to be nginx so once you uh, enter you can see here nginx pod got created let's check the status of this pod kubectl get pods so this is the pod and you can see here this is currently uh, under a running status and this is created under the default namespace okay so we are going to create a pod under dev right now to create your pod under dev you can use kubectl run i can use the same command and the name i'm going to give as a nginx2 and then i will use iphan n and my namespace name so now i created the pod but it is only on your uh, default namespace if you want to see the dev namespace pod you can use iphan n here you can see pod 2 is running under our dev namespace so like this you can create your pods under dev namespace let's create our another pod here um, in the default namespace itself and i'm going to add the label as well because i'm going to expose this pod via the node port for that i am going to give the labels is equal to app equal to my ng inx app this is the label which i am going to give and this is going to be run under my default namespace itself you can see here right now still it is creating and right now my pod 3 is running in my default namespace now i am going to check any services which is running on the default namespace and you can see here we have only one cluster ip which is default one now i am going to expose this pod via the node port for that I am going to create the service kubectl expose and pod name. You have to specify your pod name. Here my pod name is nginx pod 3 and I am going to expose it via node port. Type is equal to node port and the port name is 80. And I'm going to give name for this service as my first service. Enter. Let's see the service. You can see here right now we have the node port service running on the port number 31536. This is the node port number. So let's uh, see our pod kubectl get pods i find o wide you can see our pod currently running on this node pod 3 is running on this node let's look into the public ip for this 37 149 here we have two nodes which is already running and uh, we have the details for this pod 37149 so this is our node and here is my public ip i'm going to copy the public ip here and go to here and colon with my node port value this is my node port value 31536 and you have to give port a public ip colon the node port so once you give you can see this nginx is working this 
if you did not see this one you have to check your security group in your ec2 instance go to your security group under your ec2 instance and here you have to allow your ip if you are using your own network or your own laptop ip you have to allow else you can add this one using that you can give all traffic and in this all traffic you can add with the all ip i already added here so you can see that uh, you will uh, get this web page via this node port and right now i'm going to log in this um pod and i'm going to edit this page as well let's uh log in let's enter into the pod kubectl exec iphone it nginx iphone pod 3 iphone iphone slash bin slash bash so i entered into the pod right now and here you can see i am inside the pod you can see here and here i'm going to edit the page so the page uh, will comes under user share nginx under that we have html so currently uh, we have html and here we don't have a uh, va editor here so that we have to install the va editor so for that we have we will update first of all app to get update once it got updated we can install the app to get install iphone y vim we can install the vi editor right now so i'm clearing the screen once i installed vi editor and we have html page i entered into the html page I hitted I so that I'm getting this page and here I'm going to edit this document as a welcome to NGINX. I hitted I and here welcome to DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. I edited this content and i just save this content here let's go and refresh the page here i have only welcome to nginx once i refresh you can see here welcome to devops pro junction youtube channel like this you can expose the pod and edit the content i hope this video is helpful and somewhere it is useful to dirt your hand if you find this video is helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel, follow for the more videos and thanks for watching.